Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 23rd, 24th, and 25th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Geminis. Hello my Geminis. So this is the weekend reading. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Oh, we got a whole bunch of cards that just fell for you. We have entered into Virgo season, so that's a good grounding time for you. Meditate, um, take baths, you know, get if you can, you know, walk without your shoes if that's okay. I know some people are in a colder climate, but it you know, it, it, it is a good time for you to, you know, kind of come down a little bit. Now, um, I have posted my September readings. Please take a look at those. Those are the longer readings. Those are like the chapters. Now let me go get these cards. Okay. There we go. So, okay, we have actually one, two, one, two, three, four, and five cards. The fifth card is actually reversed, so that says pay attention to me. But So this becomes our speed reading. Let's see what we have here. Okay, first card. The high priest is high intuition. Follow your intuition. When you know things are good, go after it. When you know things aren't quite so good, make sure you stop, okay? But I do, you know, this is the energy this weekend is for a lot of the other signs. It's going to be a little bit on that chaotic and then a little bit on that thought process. So be very, you know, just make sure, ground yourself, be very clear on what it is you're looking for. This is listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. Next card is, okay, the moon, the moon. Now, our next full moon is going to be on the 14th, but our new moon is going to be on the 20th, 29th, I'm 29th, no, the 30th, I'm sorry, the 30th, and that's of August. But the thing is between here, between the high priestess and the moon, Strong, this weekend is going to be a very strong, strong, strong um, psychic weekend for you, intuition weekend for you. It, it's like there's, there's, you know, I'm not, there's things that you're going to know before they actually happen. Also, too, if you're, a, if you're somebody that um, has very lucid dreams, keep a notebook next to you when you fall asleep because when you wake up, I really feel like you need to write those dreams down. So this is important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. You know, and maybe that's one of the things too, is that you're not necessarily trusting your intuition, trusting your psychic insight. Many, you know, I feel that when, when that's, you know, when we're getting those messages, that that message is coming generally from the positive light in the universe. Now you do have to make sure that it, it's the positive light. Next card. The eight of earth. Earth energy is, of course, Virgo energy. It is Taurus energy. It is Capricorn energy. And this is saying skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. So, you know, so maybe this is going to be, you know, earth energy, you know, like I said, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, money, solid energy. Maybe this is about you're going to necessarily, maybe the, maybe, the downloads, because I do like, look at these as a lot of times these are like these downloads, are going to be about your next job, about what you're doing in your job, about what you need to do for your job. Or, you know, it, it could, because like I said, it might, or it might be a way to make money too, because solid energy could, is a lot of times earth energy, solid energy is money energy. Next card is the sun. You're getting, you're, you're getting a lot of these archangel energy cards, major arcana, the sun is about things turning out right. The sun will shine down on you. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So this weekend is, I mean, literally, this is a really good, please connect higher power, connect with your, you know, with your guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, divine, whoever that is to you. Make sure you connect. Make sure you keep those um those lines of communication very, very open because it sounds like they're going to be, they, whoever, is going to be giving you a lot of strong direction that's going to, ve that's going to benefit you. And again, if you, if you are a lucid dreamer, meaning that you, you know, that you, you really, you know, have these very realistic dreams, keep some, a pad of paper and a pen next to it and then write them down when you wake up. Now, this is the one that is reversed. 
let's see the Knight of Earth. Again, it's that solid Earth energy. So this is a really good time for you. The Knight, and again, is very focused. Focused, focused, focused. And this is loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Again, there's this angelic presence. There's this, you know, there's this supernatural presence that's saying, you know, this is this weekend for you. So this is going to be a very supernatural weekend for you. This is going to be a very insightful weekend for you. This, you know, this is what these energies are all about. This is, you know, again, I keep going back to get, keep, and maybe even, not necessarily when you're sleeping, but if you start getting these random thoughts, start writing them down. Keep that pad of paper and that pen and start writing your thoughts down this weekend because you've got a lot, a lot of angelic, energy, supernatural energy this weekend with positive, um, positive motion, positive movement. So, okay, I like that for my Geminis. Okay. So my Geminis, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.